Hi folks, MKC here. Today I will show you six other functions that you can use when dealing with array of objects that you get from an API. Usually the data that you get from an API requires more transformation before it's actually useful to the user. And this is when Lodash comes in handy. These Lodash functions that I will present you in a minute are great when you are dealing with data of different shapes and sizes. They cover all of the edge cases that you can think of. Some of them I will show you in today's episode. As our test data, I will show you transformations from my YouTube all-time favorite when it comes to examples, which is obviously Rick and Morty API. Greetings to the maintainers of this awesome stuff. Don't forget to hit that like button for me and subscribe the channel. If you are looking for our new Polish content, check out Przeprogramowani at Spotify and our newsletter at przeprogramowani.pl slash newsletter. Without further ado, let's get our hands dirty with the data and the code. Okay, on the left side you can see Rick and Morty API documentation and here is the data that we'll be dealing with. We will transform uh, characters data from the show. I prepared uh, some uh, utility function that helps me uh, to get this data from the API and this is ready without this uh, metadata about info, uh, extracted results, we just get uh, those arrays of objects with all of them uh, show uh, characters in it. Let me show you that this is the case in our code. We will console log the characters, run our node daemon and see what happens in the console. So we get this almost 800 characters from the show. Each of them is an uh, object in our array. As you can see, each character has its own ID. Usually this is the property that we will use to identify given object in our uh, array. And it would be great if we could use it to actually get this data really fast from the array. To do this, we will have to create a dictionary in which uh, ID will be a key and the value will be this object that we have for each character. For this purpose, we will use a Lodash k by function. So we will declare a new variable. It will be characters by ID and we will use k by from Lodash. Once again, please remember about using Lodash as package. If you are building front-end application, this will help you your bundler, your webpack, Vite, Rollup, whatever you are using to tree shake Lodash functions that you don't need in your code. Thanks to this, the bundle size will be a lot smaller. Okay, and to the KBy, we pass our array as a first argument, and as a second one, we pass the property from which we want to create this dictionary. What is important for KBy, this um, property should be unique across all of the objects. So ID is a great pick here. And we will see how it looks like. Okay, and as you can see, we have a dictionary now. This is the ID and this is uh, the value that is an object. So then we can operate uh, by IDs. We will get some ID from an API that should be actually transformed, edited, inserted, whatever. We can easily access uh, this object via this key. Uh, in following manner, obviously, we could go 780 and we will get just this memory Tammy. Let's see. And this is the case. Now I will show you group by function, which you don't use for the UniQ properties, uh, quite the opposite. You will use group by when you will want to group uh, some of the objects by some common property of them. Let's say by gender. So we use group by here and we will have characters by gender and we want to obviously pass gender here. We have to change those two delete this reference to, to something that we won't have anymore. And let's see, we will check all of the males in the show. And as you can see, we have different male characters from the show. If you want to enter the dangerous zone and check out what different genders that we actually have in the show, we can just use object keys and see what we got. Okay, we have male, female, unknown and genderless. This seems pretty politically correct for me. I guess I won't get cancelled this time. I will try harder in the next episode, but let's proceed with the group by because actually this function is pretty powerful. We can do more than just this simple uh, property in a string. 
It's not visible here, but each character origin has its name. Let's look at the dogs. As you can see, this is the case. For the Rick Sanchez, uh, the origin name is Earth. So let's try uh, grouping all of the characters by their origin name. And this is really simple with Odash because all we have to do is just to pass uh, this kind of string. We name the property and then we go into its nested property, which is a name. Let's see how it works. Right now we have something different. This is by origin name. And once again, we will use uh, objects keys to actually check out all of the origins that we have in the show. So quite a lot of them. And right now each character is assigned to its origin. If we would have to list each origin and its uh, characters, it would be really easy for us. But it's not all. Group by is even more powerful. Let's say we want to group our characters by the date it was created in the Rick and Morty API database. We have this created property and inside it we have a timestamp. What we can do to actually group it by the year? We can use uh, a function. We are not only uh, tied up to strings, we can also pass functions here. So we pass uh, an arrow function, we will get a character and uh, to group, we want to use uh, its created property. So we go character, created, and we will slice uh, this year from this created timestamp. Obviously, let's change the name once again uh, by year created. Here and here. Let's see in which years the characters were created. So we have four years here. I guess uh, characters from the latest season, season six, weren't added yet. And most of the Lodash functions are actually that powerful. You can pass strings if you need something straightforward, but you can also pass functions and do something really custom. And especially when you have to do something custom and you don't want to write your own test, maintain it. Lodash is a great option to have in your tool belt. I know for the simple use cases, you can write something custom. But for something like this, I wouldn't want to maintain uh, something that I built myself because I'm pretty sure that I won't cover all of the edge cases. Someone will come, maybe just myself in the future, and I will forget that this is not handled and some bug will appear in my code. This is why Lodash is that popular. The next function that I will show you is pretty similar uh, to the group by, but more specialized. Let's say we want to know which characters are from Earth C137. This is the planet from which uh, our rig that we know from the show comes from and all of the rest. This is uh, when partition Lodash function will help us. Let's see. So we go with partition and we will partition by the origin name and the origin that we are interested in is Earth C137. Okay, you will see that we will have uh, two keys now, zero and one. In zero, we have characters that are actually from this origin and in the one, uh, we have all of the rest. Let's maybe look into it, its nested array right now. Most likely we'll get Rick here. Let's scroll a little and see if I was right. Yes, actually, this is Rick Sanchez. So as you can see, partition is great. If you want to create two groups, one that meets certain condition and another not. The next highlight of this video is UniqueUby function. It will let us uh, filter out those value that are not unique. Let's say we want to only have characters from Uniqueu origins. And this is pretty straightforward with uh, what we have here. Once again, we have to change it. Here TypeScript uh, help us. So we keep the array of objects, no more dictionaries, no more grouping, but uh, this array is a lot shorter than the original one because we only have um, one character from each origin. Let's check the length. As you can see, there are 91 uh, different origins. 
And by looking at this number, we can infer that there are 91 different origins in the show. If we want to present just one character from each origin, that would be really useful for us. And last two functions that will help us with sorting uh, our array of objects. This is something that uh, we have built in JavaScript, but to keep my language professional, the built-in function is not that straightforward to use. So thanks to Lodash, we have uh, some nice alternative. The first one is simple sort by. Obviously, sorting by origin name is maybe not that great idea, not that practical, but we can use a different property. Sort by is that powerful that we don't have to just use uh, one property, but we can use more. Let's say we want to sort by name first, but if we have like some clash, uh, we can also use a ID and this will actually be useful for us. We have quite a lot of data here. So to see that it actually worked for us, let's uh, extract uh, just some of the data, the ID and the name. And as you can see, we actually had some uh, clashes. So Arbadalf Linkler uh, appears two times, some maybe some resurrection, I don't uh, remember, but there are different two IDs uh, of the character with the same name. This nested sorting actually helped us. But what to do if we want to actually change our approach to sorting? Right now we are sorting in the ascending order, maybe we want to swap it, change our approach. This is where order by function comes in handy. To order by we can pass one another parameter, which let us specify which order that we want to use for each property. So here we want to be ascending and here we want to be descending. Let's see. So because we are descending on the ID, uh, when we have this uh, clash of the names of Abradolf Linkler, uh, the uh, higher ID actually wins. We are sorting in the descending order. So the higher is first, the lower is next. And this is all of the functions that I wanted to show you. This is great base to experiment with Lodash when you are dealing with a lot of data from the API. Of course, Lodash contains more functions. You can visit Lodash docs and check out array and collection sections of it. I hope that you learned something new today with me. If you did, please leave a thumbs up under the video and leave a comment. Please let me know how you deal with the data from the API. Do you write some custom functions with reduce, map, filter, or you use some utility functions, for example, from Rodash or maybe from some other library? I'm curious. Let's start the discussion. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your attention. Have a great week and see you in the next video. Bye bye.